My name is Thomas H. McCoy, Jr., and I am the Director of Research at the Center for Quantitative Health at Mass General. The primary objective of this study was to uh, enhance our ability to predict uh, death by suicide, drawing on non-traditional elements of the electronic medical record. In particular, in this case, it was the narrative notes written by doctors at the time of hospital discharge that we were adding to that predictive effort. We studied everyone who was admitted to either Mass General or Brigham and Women's between uh, 2005 and 2013, and we assessed uh, the ultimate cause of death with particular attention on death by suicide. We were modeling time to death by suicide, and we observed a number of previously described results, that is to say we replicated them. We observed men going on to death by suicide at a higher rate, those who were registered with a race of white going on to death at a higher rate, uh, those who had visited the emergency room recently, and then perhaps most novelly in this study, we also found that the presence of positive sentiment, that is to say words that are typically associated with uh, positive feelings lovely, delightful, pleasant, these sorts of words, the presence of those words in the discharge documentation was associated with a lower risk of death by suicide. The study had a couple of important limitations to note. Uh, first of all, this is really a convenience sample. Although we had many uh, patients in this study, uh, about uh, 450,000 patients and 850,000 unique encounters, all of those patients were drawn from two large medical centers in the Boston area, Mass General and Brigham and Women's. So certainly one of the big questions that remains is the extent to which this result will generalize to other settings. Secondarily, the primary outcome of death by suicide was obtained from Massachusetts Department of Public Health uh, death records. And those death records are difficult for us to validate. They're really something we have to take on trust. And they don't give us insight into patients who might have died outside the state of Massachusetts. It's important to say, first of all, that this is work that needs to be replicated. It's an exciting first step, but only a first step. And it's an exciting first step in our efforts to use more of the elements available in the electronic medical record to improve our prediction of difficult problems like death by suicide.